Hello everyone, welcome back to my Python UI application series. In last video we created our first simple UI application that actually works and do something. And today I will show you how to make it more user friendly. So let's start. So let's see how our application looks like. So go to your Python code from previous video and run it with F5. Okay, so here we have our uh, application which converts euros to dollars, right? So the first thing we can see is that our uh, button's text is actually, it doesn't make any sense because it's just push button, it doesn't mean nothing. So we will change it. This is actually pretty simple, you just double click uh, on your button in our Qt designer and type it as whatever you want. I will just type um, a little arrow like this. Okay, so this arrow is made of a dash and greater than symbol. And another thing is that we don't know in which line edit we have euros, in which one we have dollars. So one thing you probably think of is to add a label like this and here type euros and here type dollars or just symbol for both of those. So, uh, but there is easier way, actually more practical way. You can add a placeholder. If you don't know what placeholder is, placeholder is something used or included temporarily or as a substitute for something that is not known or must remain generic, that which holds, denotes or reserves a place for something to come later. Basically, the placeholder is text inside our line edit, which tells us what to type in. So, for example, here we have in our property editor, we have line edit and the placeholder, which text is filter. And it tells us to type a filter. Okay, so to include placeholder in our application is really simple. Open your Python script and type dlg, whoops, right here, dlg dot the name of our line edit. So for me it's just line edit and then dot set placeholder text. And in here, type your name of placeholder. I'll just type the symbol of euros like this and save it and run it. And you can see we have our first placeholder right here. So if I type anything, so I, if I actually press any key, the placeholder will disappear. And if I delete it, the placeholder will appear again. So this is one thing. And another could be that we don't have to click on our line edit every time our application is started like this. We start our application with F5 and our, uh, our application is started and then we can just insert our number. We have to click on our line edit and then insert it. Because if you don't click on your, on your line edit, you can't, see, you can't see the blue border around the line edit like this. This is because line edit is not focused. So we have to focus our line edit right when our application is started. So I will type right here, dlg dot again, line edit, and then dot set focus, oops, like this. And now if I run it, you will see that without clicking anything, our line edit, line edits border is colored in blue. And we can type any number right in without clicking on it. And then we also have the shortcut for clicking this convert button. You probably um, have seen in some popular programs that you can apply something with pressing enter. You can also do that instead of clicking this button. I will show you how to do that, how to do this. So go again, go to your Python code and then go here and then again type dlg dot line edit of course whoops line edit 
like this and then uh, type dot return pressed and then dot connect and here type the name of your method you want to call for me is convert with capital C the same as when we click our button okay so let's save it and test it if it works f5 to run it and again we have our line edit with placeholder and focused automatically on start so type let's say 45 and press enter and it works great but here we have another problem actually we can modify these dollars which can be a real problem if our user of our application will accidentally change this number and misunderstand mis misunderstood the conversion so basically we need to lock this line edit you can do this with applying the read only function to this line edit i will show you how go to your python script and right here or yeah type dlg dot line edit but be careful now we are talking of the second line edit we are talking about the dollar line edit so in my case this line edit is named line edit underscore two so i will type underscore two and then dot set read only and inside in here true so this means we set our line edit to on read only so save it and f5 to run again we can try like 23 and press enter and we get our number and now if i try to modify this or change this number i i cannot so we successfully made it read only okay so this is it for this uh, tutorial in this video i showed you just some quick hints and some uh, tricks to make your application smoother and more practical i hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in some of my next videos